I immediately began to cry. Because I felt like, I felt like I didn't know who Joy was or who Joy is or where I put her. What's up YouTube, it's your boo, it's your girl, it's me, other known as Joy to the world and I'm back with another video. And today, you guys can tell by the title, um, this basically is going to be a not really a story time but basically kind of like just a chit chat with you guys to keep you updated on um like what's been going on with me lately and why um i haven't really uploaded um as many videos last week and things like that basically you know you guys know i'm 22 years old um I spent, you know, the past two years in Miami and um, I'm back in Philadelphia. And pretty much, you know, I had a midlife crisis. I know some of you guys probably will be like, you know, how is that possible for you to have a midlife crisis and you're only 22 years old? And I think that the other majority of you are going to be able to relate to what I am going to be talking about today. We grow up in a generation, anybody our age, anybody basically 27 years or younger, but between the ages of 18 and 27. We grow up in a generation where, you know, there's so many devilish temptations around us, amongst us, between the drugs, the sex, the alcohol, the partying, the social media, um, that, you know, we can lose ourselves. And I feel like a lot of us have lost ourselves. And I was kind of on that track. Um, basically, um, I drink every day. Where I, I used to drink every day. Um, since I think the age, since I turned 21, um, I have had a drink every single day. If I'm not having a drink, then I'm probably smoking. And it's okay, you know, I'm young. I'm in my prime. I'm in my 20s. Um, this is normal. However, when is enough enough? And... I noticed one morning I was looking at myself and I was hungover and it was three o'clock in the afternoon and I just rolled out of bed and I was just looking at myself. And it's not that I was unsatisfied or disappointed of what I saw in the mirror physically, my appearance, but it was who I didn't see when I looked in the mirror. I remember saying to myself, yeah, Joy, you're hungover again. You, are, you're, you slept half the day away. What did you do today? Or what are you gonna to do today that's productive besides go in and get a drink? with your friends. Then I got I got two text messages that said good morning, beautiful, how are you? And I realized that I didn't have the slight bit of interest in the pers the people who had texted me that good morning, beautiful. So if I had have no, so if I'm hungover, just waking up, getting receiving texts from people who I don't even want to receive texts from, what am I doing? What am I doing? Everything's a party until we wake up one day and we're 30 years old. And I didn't want that to happen. 
I didn't want to, if I was on the verge of alcoholism, to be a victim. I didn't want to be another victim of someone who didn't come home because they were high out their mind or I don't want to be another victim who is bringing a child into this world when the the threshold and the stability of the parents are not ideal. I didn't want to wake up one day and look back like, damn, where did the past 10 years of my life go? And I know that in this day and age, we make, we make this acceptable. It's acceptable to turn up every day. It's acceptable to, you know, entertain people for, oh, he giving, he getting money, so this, or, oh, he just, I'm just entertaining him because he's, he's, um, in, he's interested entertaining conversation or things like that. When did, when did this become our reality? I know nobody's perfect. But I also know that I can do a lot better than what I have been doing. I don't want for me to get caught in, in, in this day's society, in this generation, and be, be so wrapped up in trying to be like somebody else or trying to fit the part of what somebody thinks is cool or what or or what all everyone else is doing. I don't want to do it anymore. And when I had that realization I immediately began to cry because I felt like I felt like I didn't know who Joy was or who Joy is or where I put her I didn't know the difference of a good decision and a bad decision, a sober decision and an intoxicated one. Everything was blurring together. Everything was, the days were just going. Literally, the days were just going. And I know that I deserve better for myself. And I demand nothing but better for myself. That was six days ago. I have not had a drink since. Every morning when I wake up, I pray and I thank God that he woke me up. I thank God for everything that he's given me this far and to continue to keep blessing me and I still thank him. I turn on gospel every morning. I work out every morning and I hate working out y'all. I hate it, I hate it. I've been eating better and I know it's only a week but that's a long time for me because I'm not consistent. Well, I used to not be consistent. The new me is. I just feel better. And growing up, I grew up in an Islamic ho household all my life. And now that like I'm older and I'm making more decisions for myself and like I'm coming into adulthood for real, I just felt like Christianity has been calling me for a long time, for a long time. And it was time for me to make the decision to convert over. And um, I'm giving myself to God.
and for those who know me you guys know that this this is a big thing for me not saying that i'm i live this reckless sinful life but i kind of live a life of going with the flow you know um down for whatever kind of thing which is not cool and that's just not what i want for my life anymore the things that i'm willing the positive things that i'm willing for my life are not going to come if i'm surrounded by darkness and negativity still so i'm changing and i'm i'm so proud and i'm so blessed and i'm honored that i was able at 22 years old to step aside myself and step aside from my life and evaluate these things and to understand and acknowledge and not settle. I'm not settling for anything. If I want a pair of green socks and they only have purple, blue, and red, then I'm just not getting the socks, period. And I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know like a lot of times that people may look at me or like think that they they know my life and know and think that, oh, I got everything going on for me and I got everything together and blah, blah, blah. And it's not the case. And when you think that way about somebody, because there's people that I know that I used to look at in the same manner, in the same manner. And when I got close to them and, you know, they started telling me like some of their like, you know, problems, I'm like, I would have never knew. I would have never known. And I'm sorry guys, my camera cut off. But yeah, like, and I would never have known that. And just because like, you know, something may seem all great and everything, you never know. You never know what someone's going through. and. If you are going through something, just know that you're not alone. And young people can go through things too. Don't think because, oh, you're young and this, that, and third, you don't have nothing to be worried about. And it's no, we have a lot to be worried about, especially in this fucked up generation. We have more stress and more worry on us than they know. Seriously. So you are not alone. Like, we're all going through something. Everybody's going through something. Everybody. Some of, some of us are just, you know, strong enough to speak up on it. And if you're not, then hopefully these words will encourage you and, you know, give you a sense of assurance that it's okay. Because it is okay. And greater is coming. Greater is coming. Whether it may seem like you're in term oil right now and all of the world is about to end. The world is probably about to end. But guess what? I'm going to be closer to my God. And I know that anything from thus far he got me and he got you and so I might have like some of these little spiritual videos in here sometimes now because you know I'm getting on my spiritual I'm already already have been a spiritual person period but I just wanted to I just wanted to share that with y'all so you guys know what's going on and if you see me like you know changing or you know being more zenful and everything is literally because of this and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and all of that all of that don't forget to like smash the like button please for me don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified and alerted when i upload a video don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a what you better tell a motherfucking friend to come follow the rest of the world on youtube and before i go i want to show y'all my hair is different so yeah it's gray now gray silver this is the color that I so want. If you guys want to see, um, if you guys want me to do like a detailed video on how I uh, got my hair gray, because I know the last video that I uploaded, 
is how I got the platinum. But um, actually, yeah, I wanted this this gray silver color, so that's why it's like this now. And if you guys want to know how I achieved it, then just comment down below, and I will make a video on that. I will see y'all in the flip side. Until next time, stay black, stay blessed, stay beautiful.